We tested the sounds emitted by plants in the ultrasonic range. Plants emit ultrasonic sound signals, signals that are above the human audible range. Above the human audible range. The 21st century remains marked by remarkable scientific breakthroughs across various disciplines, which is undoubtedly fantastic news. However, the sheer volume of announcements and publications can overwhelm the general public, making it challenging to keep track. Often, these discoveries are overshadowed by other global news or lack the allure to make headlines. Today, we aim to spotlight some captivating scientific revelations from 2023 that may have gone unnoticed. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. 1. Screaming Plants Recent research conducted in March 2023 suggests that plants may emit sounds resembling screams when experiencing distress particularly due to prolonged periods without water. While the emitted sounds are beyond the frequency range perceptible to the human ear, biologists from Tel Aviv University have identified distinctive ultrasonic clicks emitted by stressed plants. If audible, these clicks are purportedly comparable to the popping of bubble wrap, reaching a volume level akin to a standard conversation. The stress triggering these sounds can result from both water deprivation and physical damage. Researchers noted that when a tomato is cut, it emits what could metaphorically be described as a scream. Previous studies in this field had identified ultrasonic vibrations emitted by plants under stress, but it was unclear whether these vibrations were potent enough to manifest as audible sounds. To explore this possibility, the research team placed tomato and tobacco plants on tables in their laboratory equipped with ultrasonic microphones. While well hydrated and undamaged plants produced minimal sound, thirsty plants, especially tomatoes, emitted an average of 35 ultrasonic clicks per hour. Even when sliced, their stems continued to produce clicks, albeit fewer than the dehydrated plants. Interestingly, each plant species exhibited a distinct voice, with a machine learning algorithm successfully distinguishing between tomato and tobacco clicks. The discovery extended to other plants like corn, wheat, grapevines, and a specific type of cactus emitting similar clicks. It's crucial to acknowledge that the intentionality behind these sounds remains uncertain. One researcher suggested that the noises might stem from the forming and bursting of bubbles in the plant's water-carrying tissue due to pressure changes induced by stress. Regardless of the cause, these findings open avenues for future research. Scientists are particularly intrigued by whether insects like moths, flies, or certain beetles can perceive these sounds. If so, it could have implications in agriculture, allowing farms to automate crop watering based on plant feedback, thereby minimizing water wastage. The ongoing exploration of plant noises promises further surprises and insights in the field. 2. Octopuses Cephalopods, encompassing cuttlefish, squid, and the focus of our discussion today, the octopus, emerge as some of the most intelligent beings on Earth. Octopuses, or octopuses, whichever term you prefer, consistently amaze researchers with their exceptional intelligence and agility. They exhibit cognitive prowess by navigating intricate mazes, unscrewing lids to access food, and adeptly using tools. Notably, the blanket octopus has been observed extracting a stinging tentacle from a Portuguese man of war and wielding it as a weapon, leveraging its immunity to the venom. Adding to their coordination, these creatures boast nine brains, one in each arm and a central one overseeing the entire body. A captivating manifestation of octopus intelligence is their uncanny knack for escaping enclosures, infiltrating neighboring spaces for a meal, and slipping back into their own habitat unnoticed before aquarium staff arrive. Such escapades, exemplified by Inky, at the National Aquarium of New Zealand in 2016 are not uncommon. Recent research from 2023 
proposes that octopus intelligence may closely resemble our own, challenging prior beliefs. Strikingly, the study suggests the intriguing possibility that octopuses may undergo nightmares. Focused on Costello, a Brazilian reef octopus with a tumultuous history, losing significant portions of two arms and sustaining severe damage to a third, the study explores trauma-induced flashbacks during sleep. Despite past trauma, Costello demonstrated intelligence by acclimating to a new enclosure in New York, indicating an awareness of safety. The breakthrough came when neuroscientist Eric Ramos discovered Costello's tank water appearing dark and murky, reminiscent of post-ink defense against a predator. Continuous surveillance revealed that, while asleep, Costello exhibited behaviors akin to facing a hungry predator, thrashing, color changes, and ink release. Ramos described this as bizarre, suggesting Costello might be experiencing pain. Subsequent analysis revealed this was not an isolated event occurring three more times, resembling distress before returning to normal behavior. The researchers propose a compelling notion. Costello might be undergoing nightmares, potentially triggered by traumatic memories of a perilous encounter in the wild. While acknowledging the sleep cycles in these creatures, the concept of dreaming and nightmares represents a significant cognitive leap. If validated, this revelation could reshape our understanding of biology and evolution, suggesting nightmares may offer evolutionary advantages, independently emerging in various species. Conversely, it may imply nightmares as a natural byproduct of heightened intelligence, raising expectations for similar findings in other intelligent animals. Regrettably, Costello succumbed to a parasite a few months after the observations, curtailing further exploration into the nature of potential dreams. Some theorize that his behaviors may stem from a deteriorating brain in the terminal stages before death. Confirming such hypotheses poses challenges given the complexity of conducting a proper brain scan on an octopus. Hence, future studies are crucial as the subject remains profoundly intriguing. 3. Alzheimer's In the United States, Alzheimer's disease ranks as the fifth leading cause of death among individuals aged 65 and older, resulting in over 130,000 deaths in 2020 alone. Currently, there are 7 million Americans living with this debilitating condition. Comparable statistics are reported globally, highlighting the widespread impact of Alzheimer's. The initial sign of Alzheimer's typically manifests as memory impairment, specifically affecting the ability to retain recently acquired information. Detecting this decline may pose a challenge initially, given the anticipated cognitive changes associated with aging. However, as the disease progresses, individuals may experience disorientation, confusion regarding time and space, personality shifts, severe memory loss, and even physiological issues such as difficulty speaking or walking. The alarming aspect of Alzheimer's is its relentless and irreversible nature, as there is no known cure. Understanding the causes of Alzheimer's has proven elusive, with brain autopsies revealing abnormal structures plaques and tangles in deceased patients. Plaques consist of hardened deposits of beta amyloid protein fragments, impairing specific brain regions over time. Similarly, tangles are twisted fibers of another protein called tau. Despite extensive research and numerous clinical trials over the past few decades, the quest for a cure remains challenging, as scientists grapple with uncertainties about the formation of plaques and tangles their impact on neural structures and the varying susceptibility of cells to damage. However, a significant development emerged in 2023 when, on January 6, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration granted approval for Lechhamabab, a drug meticulously designed to target amyloid plaques. Pharmaceutical company Biogen invested nearly two years in clinical trials for this treatment, and the 2023 approval represents a crucial step toward widespread availability for those grappling with Alzheimer's. It is important to note, though, that this drug does not represent a definitive cure for the disease. However, the outcomes of the clinical trials 
revealed a notable deceleration in cognitive decline by 27%, signifying a substantial achievement and granting the drug the distinction of being the inaugural fully approved medication for combating Alzheimer's disease. In July 2023, Eli Lilly, a pharmaceutical company, unveiled the outcomes of their own anti-Alzheimer's weapon, Donamab Dynamabab. Operating in a manner akin to the previously approved drug by targeting amyloid plaques, this new drug demonstrated even greater efficacy. In a specific subgroup, cognitive decline was nearly halved, with comprehensive testing covering memory, problem-solving, personal care, and more. These two drugs, categorized as monoclonal antibodies, exhibited remarkable effectiveness in certain instances, reducing amyloid plaques to negligible levels. Remarkably, some patients continued to experience cognitive benefits six months to a year after discontinuing the drugs. Despite their potency, these treatments come with associated side effects, ranging from common ones like headaches and nausea to more severe complications such as brain swelling and even brain bleeding. While far from constituting a cure, this represents a monumental stride in the right direction. One of the most promising aspects of these innovative drugs lies in their potential early intervention use, targeting individuals in the initial stages of amyloid plaque development before symptoms manifest. If these drugs live up to their considerable acclaim, there is a plausible scenario in the coming years where the world witnesses its first survivor of Alzheimer's disease. Four, new perspectives. Our concluding entry today presents more of a proposal than a groundbreaking discovery. Yet, if proven true, it holds the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe. The age of the universe has been a subject of profound interest among scientists for many years, as comprehending the past state of the universe is fundamental for accurately predicting its future. In 1917, Einstein proposed a static universe concept, suggesting a perpetual and unchanging cosmos in every direction, essentially positing that the universe had no beginning but was eternal in both temporal directions. However, this notion was discarded following Edward Hubble's revelation of red-shifting galaxies, leading to the prevalent model of an expanding universe, originating from a singular point in the Big Bang theory. The current consensus, supported by observed rates of acceleration, redshift and distance, estimates the age of the observable universe at approximately 13.7 billion years, refined to 13.797 billion years with recent technological advancements. However, a recent study from the University of Ottawa challenges this understanding. In July 2023, Professor Rajendra Gupta proposed in a paper that the universe might be nearly twice as old as previously believed, suggesting an astonishing age of 26.7 billion years. Gupta arrived at this estimate by amalgamating the expanding universe model with Fritz Zwicky's tired light theory, which posits that light undergoes energy loss during extensive space travel, causing it to appear red-shifted. Zwicky's tired light, proposed almost a century ago, was initially considered as an alternative to the expanding universe model. Gupta, however, integrated both theories, suggesting a hybrid phenomenon for interpreting the redshifting of galaxies. If redshift is not solely attributed to expansion, galaxies would require considerably more time to attain their current distances and wavelengths, aligning with Gupta's proposed age. This extended age offers resolutions to contemporary astrophysical challenges, including anomalies like the Methuselah star considered older than the universe itself, and observations from the James Webb Space Telescope revealing early formed galaxies seemingly advanced in evolution compared to their expected timelines. While Gupta's model remains a single interpretation lacking widespread support, it serves as a reminder that science, particularly in astronomy, is an evolving field. 
Humanity continues to unravel the mysteries of the universe, and embracing change in our understanding is integral as knowledge inevitably advances.